everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So I got the latest update installed. For some reason it was saying on the uh, Discord that it was uh, patch 1 hotfix 1, which was the stable version, but apparently I'm on patch 5 hotfix 4 now for the download. That's what was the download. Anyway, we got the problem with the map solved, which is excellent because now we can get into battle. Uh, I noticed the Falcons are doing a pretty good job of, of uh, picking up some planets here. It looks like Wolf has kind of got us blocked and then it's uh, Ghost Bear is making its way down here. Looks like we got a world out here too. Uh, Jade Falcon and Hell's Horses. So what I want to do today is pick up some missions. Looks like uh, um, Wolf is trying to flip this planet. Uh, yeah, looks like they're uh, 31st Battle Cluster and Revenant's Risen. We're going to go after that planet. What do we got over here? Uh, Jade Falcon, Bluebirds, Marauders. Now, do we have... We are allied with Jade Falcon. I don't know if that's going to... If it matters, faction-wise, if it's going to show up in front of our name. Anyway, we're going to head over here. We're going to go to Lum and do some work there. 14 days. There's a travel contact tract avail bleh, bleh, travel contract available. So we're going to take that. Um, supply intervention. We can most certainly do that. It's going to be easy. That'll get us over there. Uh, that's sh wait, that's Shadow. Lum, 14 days. Here we go. So this is a, what? Uh, active Patrol, Wolfie, and Mechs. Okay, perfect. Let's get over there. Let's negotiate this sucker. Um, yeah, you know, I think on priority contracts, especially against Clan, we should be going full salvage on it just to grab some GAC. So let's do this. Let's accept it. Head over there. Got to get ourselves into the battle here. We've been out for too long. Once again, I apologize. Work's been a nightmare. I've been trying to get things going here. So hopefully you're going to get a bunch of episodes recorded this weekend. At least be one or two days ahead so this doesn't happen. Uh, so, so party, man. Yeah, man. Party, party, party. Anyway, I was recording some uh, uh, Night Witches episodes earlier today. Um, got a couple of them recorded. And some interesting stuff happened. I, I'm not going to say what it is, but I should go check it out. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, almost there. We're not going to have anything in the store, obviously. So let's proceed with our contract. Get working on this planet. I don't know why Wolf has got such a hard-on for Jade Falcon. All, like I know we've been fighting it continuously and we don't really like each other. But we should be going against the Inner Sphere. But whatever. Let's deploy this lance and get her done. All right, here we go. All right, let's get this done. So I confirmed a few things uh, earlier today when I was recording um, uh, Night Witches, and that is have to, has to do with the Void system and the and the uh, uh, NSS. And man, does that stealth ever work great if you don't run? I basically walked right up to the enemy and wiped them out without an issue. Without even them shooting at me, it was that bad. They didn't even know I was there. I don't know if you remember that one episode where we had the uh, gorilla sneak right up on us. We were in the Martian environment and it came, like we basically were moving in and all of a sudden it just came out of nowhere. Um, as we were moving forward, it just appeared. And, uh, and that's exactly what we did to them is they had no idea we were there. Okay, Stormcrow, Oro Heavy Tank, Arctic Wolf. Uh, I will, also, I ran into a Long Tom vehicle today, too. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that shit's real. We thought the arrow was good. Wait till you uh, encounter a Long Tom vehicle. That shit's insane. Okay, just going to grind these guys up. Uh, it's not a, let's not get attack nuke on his that well do we want to because then we can target the, let's just target the storm crow with this guy because he's got those heavy large heavy lasers I want him gone so let's crank up this to six and let's just hammer him
Well, it took half his armor. He's still standing, though. Not for long. Okay, so... I want to try and get some swarm ammo for the uh, LRMs. I was using it earlier today. And uh, Night Witches. Man, that stuff's pretty good. The fact that it'll target other units by the unit you're firing against makes it perfect for an LRM boat. Yeah, these guys can't see us. I, I almost feel sorry for them, but then they are clan wolves, so... Tango down. What would kind of be nice is if these guys were either labeled as uh, Trueborn or Freeborn. I like to think I'm always I'm always fighting against the Trueborn warriors. Just, pro just proving that Freeborn's better. So the one thing you will have to remember, and I ran into this today, uh, when you are facing um, enemies with arrows and long toms, is you yep. need to disperse your mechs. You cannot be standing in the same location together because you're just asking to die. Um, the arrow or long tom will give any mech standing by the target zone basically complete instability. Like five boxes of instability. I got hit with, with that and four mechs went completely unstable. Um, so you need to spread out. Uh, getting bonus resolve gain, I'm going to say, is, is probably the better idea. Uh, just so that you can... You see, we get 14 resolve each turn, right? Which is amazing. Uh, well, not amazing, but it's good. Uh, because you want to be using the um, uh, vigilance as much as possible to remove instability. You're definitely going to need it. So they've got another wolf unit over here somewhere that we haven't seen yet. Long range fire! Somebody mentioned that the uh, two ER larges and the and the Ultra um, Five auto cannon is kind of a weird loadout. I don't really think it's that weird. It's kind of a good balance between heat management and, and damage. And against medium max, it's pretty much a shredder. There it is. Oh, we've taken one point damage so far. So he's going to get racked. He's standing right where he can take... Oh! Maybe you're going to get racked. Oh, stop saying things like that. That's what gets us killed. Now let's kill the Zephyr. I have no idea how much armor it's got, but it's standing in there. Gonna go this way. Uh, and let's turn this down to four. Don't want to really jam. See, he's gonna take a lot more damage because he's gone in the spores. He takes more damage, man. Enjoy. So, Blockade's gonna give it a bit of a multi target here. We're gonna walk down to the trees so this guy can't shoot us anymore, but we're gonna. Yeah, who are you? Yeah, that can blind me for long. Yeah. Can we not get... Oh, there we go. I want to multi-target this out, because I want to go after you. Because I know you're damaged. Yeah, there's sides damaged. Down to two points. I think one should do it. And let's drop some nuke on this guy. Go this route and fire. Yeah. Just needed that one good hit. Ah, 
Ow! What the hell did you hit me with? What the hell did you hit me with? Now he's going to get his stability back now. Won't matter though. You get a rack, and you get a rack. Uh, yep. Uh, not quite enough to kill him. Enough to knock him over? Nope. Orders. I don't think I like them deep scanning me very much. It just sounds creepy. Location. Ooh, deep scan. You and you. B's gonna take the AC. Hopefully, we can knock him down. Taking the shot. There we go. No, you still got stability, huh? Well, let's hammer him. Okay, another Stormcrow. And this is going to be a multi-target. Roger. So we're going to go A. This is B. And we're going to go splash to B. Firing. Engaging multiple targets. That should knock him down. Didn't knock him down? How is it not knocking him down? Commander. Well, he's definitely unstable. Oh, yeah. That did it. There we go. Shut him the fuck up. Um... Get some recoil back, we don't have to worry about that. Let's just, uh... I have no idea what we hit. What was that with the camera? Standing by. I'm there. I don't think we hit any of this stuff. So he's got... Okay, so before... I don't know whether I'm just noticing this now. See, we don't, we can't see anything up here, but if you roll over, it shows you right up under here how much is each area has got left. I don't know if that's new or if it's just me not seeing it, which is like pretty damn highly likely. Firing all weapons. That's a kill. That is a kill. Keep telling you it's not working on me. I want to work towards getting a Clan XL engine in. Yeah, it's not even move. Firing on target. Soften them up. Okay, Griff the Stiff. Let's get in here. Let's grind this guy's bones to make my bread. Yeah, I'll fire everything. Whoa. I love it when we can see the enemy. enemy unit destroyed. What do you mean? So, I think it was Talendale that mentioned, uh, it was a good comment about getting the command console in. Um, and I think we're going to try and do that uh, in the other Timberwolf. Not this one, but the other one. Um, and I think it's more than possible if we pull out two ER mediums. Um, is he going to go down? No. 
pull out two ER mediums and maybe a heat sink or two. Should balance out the heat because we can't fire everything all the time anyway and get the command console in to give us better vision. I um, think that's there? probably a pretty good um, compromise. Can we, how can we not see that guy? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, where? Rolling. So like here, we take out the two ER mediums, right? And then um, like a heat sink, which we probably don't need. And we could get some, enough weight to put that command console in this thing. This should be good. Ooh. See ya. I want to get some more punch on this guy. I might be meaning pulling out the ER large laser and just going with Lerms. Well, that's one left. I think two arrows are a bit of two arrows are a bit overkill. I think. Mission successful. Okay, two hundred nineteen thousand should cover our repairs without a problem. Now, I'm not going to put in that command console while I'm fighting. I'll do it between episodes because I want to get as much time in fighting as possible. Um, IATMs, maybe? I don't know. Uh, LRM-10. Like, see, the thing is, we've got so much of this stuff already, right? Hence the imaging. We've got three of these. Ah, man. Okay, IATM HE. I'll drop it in for now. We might end up putting some IATMs on that uh, on the night gear. Sorry, I'm having problems with my brain today. I'm moving really slow. Actually, if we got six, what's the chance we got enough Stormcrow parts that we can build another Stormcrow? I wish I told you the variant parts. That would be interesting. We got an H part and the Z. So let's grab all the Z parts. Because there really isn't anything else we absolutely need here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Stormcrow parts. ATM, IATM, Clan, Endo. Okay, so, I mean, we didn't do too bad. All right. Hey, we took Lum from Wolf. Nice. 40 grand. Okay. Not bad. Let's get these guys repaired and go again. Um, so my goal is to try and have all Omnimex with the maybe a handful of exceptions. Um, I'd rather just try and stick with Clan Mechs. So like the Orion 2C, the C will, you know, because it's technically a clan mech, we'll keep it. Um, but for the most part, I think we want to just go uh, clan only, hopefully Omni mechs only. Uh, that's kind of my goal just for this series. All right, so what are we saving up for here? Let's go with tactics. Let's get some more initiative. Let's Great. confirm this. Uh, Duce, same thing. I'm going to go with tactics. And Griff the stiff don't quite have enough. He was out for 72 days earlier in the in, earlier in the campaign, so that's why Mockingbird I think was out for a little while. I can't remember. All right, so let's have a look. Um, what we can do here? Retribution is three skull. It's only three thirteen against Clan Wolf though. Let's do something. I mean, last mech standing. Pirate battle max raiding party belonging to clan wolf. Mm, I don't know if I want to go that route. Repost. Wait, what? Group of pods from Clan Jade Falcon have issued a direct challenge versus me? I'm not fighting my own friggin' Are you kidding me? Last mix standing. Pirates. We could just go straight up sea bills on this and just destroy everything. But I think you guys want to see some good uh, fighting. So let's go with raiding party. Let's just see if we can do this. Um, 2 of 10. 3 13. 
Let's go salvage and deploy. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they're straight up ahead. I want to stay out of this friggin' water. Let's stay quiet. Quiet and distance. As soon as they pop on our radar, they're meat. No mercy, no surrender. We can withdraw though. Waiting for orders. I'm All right, there we go. Um, they must be getting reinforced. Mars, Mars, Stormwolf. Really? They must have more guys than that. Like more than one lance. Good to go. Heading out. Hostiles on centers. Orders. Position confirmed. Yeah. Of course you do. But from where? The back, I think. Yeah, back here. So we gotta deal with these guys fast. Okay, everybody on the Mars. Mark two. He's got all the alarms. What's the difference? There's no difference. Armor is exactly the same. The load is exactly the same. I guess maybe because we can just ID this guy better. I have no idea. It didn't fire at me last turn. Don't know why that was. Maybe they couldn't see me? You'd think if they had the alarms, they would be using them on me. Like, LRM-90 is, like, painful. We gotta kill these guys fast. Well, okay, you are just figuring out what you were doing. Yeah, he's coming in for eyes on. We gotta take care of that right away. Light damage. Holding firm. Joint while it lasts, buddy. It's not gonna last much longer. On my way. Ooh, really? Go this route. Everybody's gonna get it out. Of 
question is, we try to knock off that Mars? Or do we try and kill the, uh... This guy. 43. It's the same. Let's try and get rid of this guy. Now well, you can take a punishment this one. Standing by. Rolling. Gotcha. Wow, really? Where is that from? Direwolf. Oh, wonderful. Better hurry up and kill these guys. Shit. This is my voice. This is how I talk. You're, to you're totally mimicking the god man. I am not. Ouch. Okay, we're going to be moving backwards now. Okay, let's work on this guy. Firing. I copy. Okay guys, what are you doing? Oh, it's this guy again. Don't have very much, very far to go back here. Maybe we can get up and go over the hill here. But if they got lots of lerms, that's going to be just problems for us, not for them. Come on, buddy, decide what you're doing. What? I guess you just want to have eyes on. That would kind of make sense. Is he unstable? Bet that hurts. Nope. Getting there though. Receiving you. Huh. Copy. 
I got two reasons for wanting to shoot the uh, arrow over there. One, to hit this guy for some damage, but two, ah, I was hoping to set kind of, some kind of fire, but I guess it'll only set fire in trees. Because I was hoping to get some smoke going, like this, to kind of block the guys coming up on us, but I don't think that's going to happen. This guy's just going to take the racks. Actually, if we can get, um... Oh, I guess Alducci's already gone. Right. He's going to take the racks. So is this guy. Want to go full bore on him? I think four would be enough. I want to save the Warlord for the uh, Mars Assault vehicles. Okay, they should have eyes off now. They may detect this guy on sensors, but everyone else should have eyes off. Yeah. They've got him on sensors, but that's it. I was wrong. Warning. Armor low. Shit. <sighs> Those Mars vehicles have to go next turn. There is no choice on this. Yeah, I know. Oh, starting fire. That'll help a little bit with a bit of smoke there. Commander. Seems weird to be moving near the fire, but... He's got his back to us now. This is the guy that's damaged. Good chances to hit. We're going to take him. Okay, we got him finally. Enemy vehicle destroyed. This guy's got to go. Firing at all. Oh! Yes! How you like them apples? So this is where the last guy is over here. The bologna. The bologna sandwich. What else we got back here? Timberwolf. Direwolf. Love to have a direwolf. Can't afford it right now though. But I love to have it. They're standing together too. So that baloney is going to get some LRMs. I wonder if that baloney has got a first name. Oh, ho, ho. I'm so ridiculously funny. Um, let's move him back here for now.
Timberwolf Prime. Let's drop some uh, lead on this motherfucker. Actually, we should. Oh, we can't multi target now. Oh well. Nice. Just letting them know we mean business. Yeah, you're enjoying that heat, boys. About the same amount as I am, I would imagine. Going full throttle. Mech is on fire. I wonder if it'll go. I wonder if the fire will go away if I uh, go in the water. Twenty-eight percent this time. 11 rounds. Got plenty of rounds. Let's use them. And take AoE damage anyway, so. Cannot get those vehicles, eh? Alright, let's move up over here. Get behind the hill. At least they can't direct fire us. Uh, let's just reserve you. See where that baloney goes. Okay. It's coming in to get eyes on. Commander. Let's make us a baloney sandwich. Side shot. Ten four. And hammer it. Copy that, Commander. Oh, goodbye. We don't like spies. Unless they're on our team. Ready for orders. Understood. Moving fast. Standing by. <laughs> oh yeah. That's fine. We don't care. What? Oh, you can't attack? Oh. Wait, if I turn this off. Roger that. Yeah! I'm under heavy fire here. How are you under heavy fire? You didn't do anything. So it looks like they did take some hits. Okay, they got eyes on now too. What's up, Timby? Hey, uh, have you ever seen a pair of Rotary 5s up close? Well, let me show you what the ammo looks like. Shoot at my friends. That's what you get. Oh, Executioner. Can you get up here? Oh, wait, what, sir, what? Oh, oh, that's not a good place to be. But if we vigilance, hopefully we can go before them and get the hell out of there. So that's the direwolf egg executioner. Timberwolf Prime, let's just hammer this guy. Going down. Yep. Should be able to follow that up next turn and then get the hell out of there. Yeah, shit. The dire wolf's moving. Okay, can't see us. Another dire wolf. Lone wolf. Lone wolf McQuaid. All right, better move you first. Uh, let's warlord this and attack this guy. Let's get rid of him. Don't want to take any chances here. Thank you. Rolling. Thank you very much, Lee. That's the egg executioner, right? Hammer this guy. Don't think they can see you back here, so let's just move forward. Target this guy. Everything else is out of range, but that's fine. Oh, even this guy took a little damage. Let's 
getting the trees for some defense. One of the racks is down. Um, it'll probably be up next turn, but I'm going to roll this one down to four. Nice shooting. This match would be so different if they weren't so damn slow. If they had speed, we could be in a lot of trouble. I'm appreciating the speed of the fast 75 tonners, that's for sure, the Mad Cats. Or, sorry, the Timberwolves. Yeah. We always run with low armor, remember that. Shit. Just target the guy we can. Fire. Take a bit of armor off him and move back. Gonna reserve. We're gonna do the same thing we did last time. Well, somebody needs to be taught a lesson. Let's get rid of this guy while we can. Ooh, still going. Enemy max critical damage detected. Good to go. I copy. Oh, ho, it got in a mushroom cloud. That's got to be shocking for these two guys as they watch pieces of the executioner fly by them. Oh, ow. Yep, that's bad. We have another Rack 5, just not the same caliber. These guys are dangerous as shiz. Crap. That's a huge problem. That's a huge fucking problem right there. to knock this guy down please as best you can really Okay, so he's going down. Target's taking a critical hit. Didn't lose enough initiative though. Commander. Trying to draw this guy's fire if I can. Go. 
God, I hate to do this, but we gotta draw fire. Okay, I got so lucky. Battle Mac, operational. Um, sorry, what? Doesn't take long to demo a mech, that's for sure. Engaging target. Waiting for orders. Taking on these hundred tonners is tough. I think we lost our gyro. That's probably why I can't move very fast. Receiving you. Reading you. I don't like those numbers. I like those numbers better. Let's fire. Going down. Okay. Let's keep working on this guy. I'm here. Move order received. Okay, it's hammer him. This bastard's ass on the ground, please. Uh, Roger. Or kill him. That's good, too. Starting to get costly. Coming up hard around me. I'm here. Let's move into position. Ready for orders. 
So that was the right torso. Okay, he's unsteady. Yes, Commander. Alpha, strike this guy's ass, please. Ooh. Serves you right for standing in those spore clouds, buddy. I can't expose you at all. Coming in for the kill. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Critical hit. Critical hit. God, this guy's got so many weapons. Critical. Yeah, he's also stunned and has got spores on him. Oh man, such a hard choice. Taking the shot. Okay. Reporting critical hit. Opens up his CT. <sighs> really? Confirm. Hammer him hard, please. Confirm. There we go. How's that for excitement, guys? Mission successful. Well, 153,000, that is not going to cover the repairs. Our repairs are going to be crazy. Look at this. Look at it. Ah, we lost one of the racks, though. But we got another rack 5, just a regular rack 5. We'll throw it in there. All right, next. Okay, lots of dire wolf pieces. That would be nice. Storm wolf pieces. 45 tons. Don't care. Alright, let's just see if there's anything that we can use to replace the stuff that we lost here. Uh, there's no racks here, I don't think. No. Although we could take three Clan XL engines and just sell them. And that will more than cover the cost to repair everything. Unless there's something else amazing down here. Which I don't think there's probably going to be. Well. So two XL engines. We lost a T3 or, or sorry a tier 3 thing. But we don't. Uh, clan stealth really? That's interesting. Okay. So. Let's grab a couple of these. We need to, we need to fix stuff. All right, two direwolf pieces, an executioner piece, stormwolf piece, two ER largest, Gauss rifle, LRM, LRM Artemis. Okay, so we made it okay on this one. Okay, wolf's taking points, snow raven. Yeah, good thing we took those XL engines. All right, guys, let's get this fixed here. So let's go and sell a pair of those XL engines. Uh, selling. Ah, I just go to engines here. Yeah, where are they here? Clan XLs. Just two of them. You know what? Let's sell three. So we've got some funds to work with here. Actually, let's have a look at, uh, star map here see how we're doing yeah we're at 73 percent now man I wish I had more time to uh, to play
Bluebirds Marauders, who's here? Revenant's risen. Good luck beating me, buddy. Well, I'm sure they can, no problem. All right, let's uh, get our mix repaired. Um, going to get the command console in now. Okay. Uh, wow, the Orion's out for 29 more days, eh? Wow, really? Took some heavy damage, that's for sure. So Timberwolf D, I think we lost the heat sink. The core was damaged. Uh, I think that was it. No, it patch, we lost, the whoa, wow, we lost a lot. We lost a lot. Um, gotta sell these. These are arms, by the way, the arm and, and lower arm, uh, like full hand, all that kind of stuff. I forgot all about those. How quickly we forget. All right, well, I don't think we're going to have to reap. <sighs> got to figure out what to do now. We need patchwork materials. How are we going to do this here? Uh, man, our heat efficiency is going to drop. Well, not by that much, though, it looks like. Hmm. Just make it absolutely full armor. Sure, why not? It's only one day for repairs. Log and note. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Man, I wish we had. Got a new financial report for you, Commander. I mean, we have time to wait, but then it's got to be rebuilt too, right after that. So I think I'm probably better off um, pulling another mech forward for now. And something that I don't have to we're gonna drop in firepower severely, which means we have to drop our skull rating. Let's pull something forward. What do we got here? Thunderbolt, but then it's a, I mean, it's a royal We could go with the Stormcrow Prime. E? No, we lost the Prime, didn't we? Yeah, we lost the Prime. No, we didn't. There it is there. The Gorilla would be nice, but it's without an XL engine in it. It's going to cost so much to put that in. Let's go with the Stormcrow Prime. Just for now. It'll be quicker to get this guy up and running while the Orion gets fixed. You better. It's my old mech. Bring it out of storage. Alright, let's see how we're going to fit this guy out. And then we'll leave the episode there. Uh, so let's refit him. We had to bring him forward anyways eventually. Um... So let's go first of all and grab uh, let's grab I don't want to go with speed I don't think you know what if I'm going to be piloting this sucker maybe we do or we go with range if we go with range we can go enhanced imaging sensors tracker and then clan cockpit so these two, and then go with, um, where are you here? Advanced fire control. No, sorry, not advanced. Uh, improved. We have an improved? We don't have any improved left. Ah, screw you. Want to do an AC-20 build? 
Probably not. Don't want to get close to the enemy. Let's just go with the energy build. This is just a temporary thing. So we'll go this route, then let's grab... Um, probably going to need some e-cooling. We can go with a plus three. Let's just drop it in. We're definitely going to need the cooling, so might as well. Um, can't go with gyros or anything like that. Mask, I don't think we need the mask. We are going to need a... Let's get the Nova in here. I was thinking about going with this, but um, we need a clan cockpit. And it's like three tons of extra weight. But uh, the TTS here, this is just fine. The plus one and extra range and extra crit chance is just fine. Most likely the exchanger we're going to need. Maybe a heat bank. I'm just going to drop those in for now. We can always pull them out. Uh, okay, so let's start with that. And let's go with void system. Probably, just so they can't see us. And then weapons. I was thinking two ER larges, but maybe... Um, I have a large heavy here as well. 510. These things are these things shoot way farther. 1,000 meters. See, this will give us the ability to just to hang back and shoot from a distance. Right? We don't have to actually close with the enemy at all this way. What's our heat doing here? Okay, not too bad. Wait a minute. Heat sinking is 54. How the hell is that possible? Oh, because we don't have a double heat sink kit in. God, I'm a moron. Wait, don't don't say anything. Don't say anything. That should take care of the problem. Yeah, nicely. So then let's look at... going with just want to see if this is possible here uh, where are we here no because we haven't maxed the armor out yet that's the other thing too right should do that before we do anything get ourselves in trouble again 65 well now let's go 60 60 and 75. Um, got a pair of these guys. You can see what our heat looks like after this. Yeah, it's pretty warm. But cycling off one of those lasers, ER medium pulses. What's the range? 500 and something on these, right? 560. That's actually pretty good. Either that, well, I was thinking of going with four ER mediums, but we way overheat then. Hmm. Yep, yeah, let's run with this. Doesn't got much in it, but uh, be good enough for now, I think. Just so we can field something. It's relatively quick too, which is nice. Nice good flanker. Alright, let's confirm this. Yeah, I like my laser builds. What can I say? No ammo means less explosions. Right. I mean, we lost all our rack ammo on the uh, Orion, so that was kind of bad. Alright, let's get that up and running, and then uh, we'll end the episode. And the next time when we come back, we'll take another mission here and uh, see how it goes. Um... Uh, I'm thinking that that um, the storm crow will be just fine if we don't let it put it up, put it up at the front lines. Let the mad cats do the the heavy lifting, storm crow from the back and and um, night gear from the back, and I think we'll be fine. Oh, you know what? Let's before we end the episode, let's go and check out that command console idea. We got some a little bit of time here, so we might as well do it. Uh, was it the C or the D version? I think it's the C. Yeah, C version. C for command. That's my story, and we're sticking to it. All right, so if we pull out, let's say we pull out the torsoed mediums, and we pull out a double heat sink. Oh, we got to repair one of these anyway. Um, 
do that and then we go to equipment we'd have to pull out the recon sensors enhanced imaging fire control system improved and then go all the way down it's down here isn't it surveillance command console here we go let's try that heat efficiency is what yeah it's still not that bad I mean it's pretty hot not as hot as it was before firepower drops a little bit but I think overall everyone's gonna get um, um, you know better um, what do you want to call it um, response from this the fact that everyone's getting a plus two increased resolve gain uh, Lance accuracy with indirect fire that's going to help out the night gear um, plus two initiative for all Lance units plus one initiative for this person to injury resist this is actually a really good console so we're going to leave it in this mech let's confirm this and then let's have a look at the night gear I think I want to pull out the ER large and go with more missiles um, think about the arrow I want this guy to be fast because I want um, the arrow to like destabilize everybody and then the rest of the lance mates can go and hopefully knock people down um, so we pull out the ER large the reason why I had this in here was because I wanted to be able to um, have something if we ran out of ammo but I don't think we're gonna run out of ammo with the setup that we have so let's pull that out for now and then we got five tons how do we have five? Oh, this is just a regular ER large laser I was wondering why it wasn't oh man I don't know how I grabbed that by accident whatever we save him five tons so that's kind of cool heat efficiency is going to go way up here uh, but let's do this and then let's go with um, a pair of 15s I think or do we want to leave the 20 could leave the 20 not very heat efficient drop another ton of LRM ammo in do we not have where the hell is the rest of the LRM ammo why did they spread it out like that that's weird Follow the leader ammo. Now nah, I was hoping we would have swarm, but we don't. Let's check the store. Now that we own the planet. LRM safe, LRM Artemis, LK half loads. Eh. Figures. Could add a normal. This way we can stay indirect the whole time, right? Then we can do this. I thought we had half tons left. We don't. So we can't do that. But we can easily add a half ton of armor. And all the fronts maxed out. Yep. Got two left. Nope, three left because we got Pharaoh. Uh, you know what? Let's change this. Nah, too late. We should be switching to NSS for everything. Let's 
So let's say we do this, sake of argument. We could do this. And this. And then just kind of do like, since we shouldn't be being targeted from behind anyway, in theory, go like that. Heat efficiency does go up a little bit, which is pretty good. Weight is nice. This we should be remain stealth. Don't have to worry about people shooting at us. Let's confirm this. Then let's have a look at our timber wolves too. Interested to see. Got void on that guy. Let's check out the D here. Uh, just got Pharaoh. How do we get two tons though? Not bloody likely. We'd have to drop the medium pulse. <sighs> Don't really like that idea. I mean, we could swap out the Ultra 5 and go with something different. Like, the thing is, is this thing runs so cool. It's like 8 heat, right? For 7 tons. Does 90 damage. Well, it's really 9 tons because of the ammo. But still. It's got destability and everything too, right? Or instability on the enemy. 11.25 11, 11 is actually pretty good. These guys are what? 6 or 7? Eight. Uh, we could. Could swap out the Ultra 5. Let's just play with something here for a second. Let's say we take the Ultra 5 out. Don't need the, we don't really need the case. Really need the case. When we could use it, but we don't really need it. It's not like it has to be there. Let's put this in the CT. Okay, now change out the Pharaoh for NSS. Okay, not bad. Um, medium pulse and ER medium. Let's pull those for a second. And let's go and see if we cannot drop. We're going to dr be dropping damage for sure. I mean, we could put a large, heavy, like, we could put this in. Let's put the patchwork in here. Get it out of the arm. Heat's going to drop here. So that's a 90 and 260s. Or. What's the range in the large ER pulses? A thousand meters. But they're plinky damage, that's the problem, right? We're gonna heat it up. Could go that route. And then we can go with, make sure they're all clan ER larges. With this, that's going to change things a fair bit. Um, let's grab this. Yeah, thinking something like that. Four ER larges on weapon mounts. Enhanced imaging, sniper sensors. Do we have... I thought we picked up... I um, guess we didn't. Nope. So the damage overall... I mean, we're hitting 240. 
Average range is a thousand meters. Let's try it. And then let's get the NSS on the command console mech. Right. I'll get it in the skip. So let's go a couple of days here, or one day. All right. Let's see if we can get it on there. The Orion's going to need it as well, eventually. But that's not going to be back for quite a while. Night gear, what's up with the night gear? What do we do? What do we fuck up? Something is installed in an invalid location. What is it? Oh, case two requires clan armor. That's why I had that in there. Shiz. Right, it's fine in, fine in an energy build, but not in a missile build. <sighs> right. That would make total sense now, wouldn't it? Could just save the patchwork for somebody else. And then just drop in, like, because we're, we're heating up now, right? Drop in a double heat sink. It's not too bad. All right, let's just go with this for now. Man, the sea bills are just getting, just coming right off us. Good thing we got all those Klein XL engines. I can sell, I got like six more, I can sell them. Uh, we wanted to go to here. Let's see about the NSS here. Don't have to worry about the uh, heat and stuff. So let's do that. Let's do um, this. Let's do this. That's not bad. Only one time we got to pull out. Something like that. Let's try this. Yeah, it goes pretty much the rest of our C bills. Alright, so I know this was a long episode, guys. I apologize, but at least this gives you an idea of where we're headed mech-wise. Um, so two days, we'll have everything back here. Okay, cool. Lots of time to get our financial report. Plus, I'm not worried. we got so many Klein XL engines and storage, we can just sell them off in an instant. I could do that and bring the next Lance in, but once again, that's going to jack up our month monthly thing, so I'd rather just get some stuff going here first. Um, get a few more things in the bank. Decide what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of. I think most likely we're just going to go with um, two Lances. I'll probably sell off if we go to storage here. Most likely um, I'm going to sell off the stuff that's not um, that's not uh, uh, Omnimech or with a C designation, so the Strix will probably go. Thunderbolt will probably go. Um, the Bushwhacker, I'm most likely going to keep the Gorilla. Uh, the Shadowhawk will probably go. Um, Phoenix Hawk C will keep for now because it is a C variant. Um, the Grinner, we probably, I don't know, we got two of them. Like, we got so many mechs now that we're probably never going to get to using all of these guys. But we got options to be able to sell stuff. I want to just pull out the stuff that's not, you know, basically clan based. We've got another Griffin here we can get rid of. So that will probably sell off all these at some point. Like if we scrap them, it's like, yeah, not a lot for them. But when we need C bills to bring our next lance up, I'll probably go ahead and do that. Get the next lance up and running. Um, we're going to do that. Well, I don't know. Not necessarily right away. We're already at 857,000. We were at 1.2 million a little while ago. Um, so there's that, but, uh, yeah, so we want to just, you know, I think work on getting, um, a Jade Falcon Avenue into the inner sphere. So I think I'll probably start doing that. It's going to be difficult, but we're going to, that's going to kind of be our goal. That plus, uh, fighting off clan wolf here. If they keep us tied up in, in clan space for too long, we'll never get to the inner sphere. So 
have to work on that. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and leave any comments in the comments section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.